Have you ever wondered how to protect yourself during an earthquake? Welcome to today's video where we delve into the history of some of the most devastating earthquakes and reveal how to safeguard yourself against such natural disasters. We'll journey through time from the Great Alaskan Quake of 1964 to the catastrophic Tohoku earthquake and tsunami in 2011. We'll also provide essential tips on earthquake preparedness and response. Prepare to be taken on a journey that is as fascinating as it is perilous. Envision the solid earth beneath you convulsing with a staggering force of 9.2 on the Richter scale. Imagine the paralyzing horror and chaos as the planet beneath your feet shudders violently, monumental structures collapse into dust, and the familiar world you occupy is transformed into an alien landscape in a cataclysmic blink. This was the nightmarish upheaval endured by the inhabitants of Alaska on the fateful day of March 28, 1964. Dubbed as the Great Alaskan Earthquake, this seismic cataclysm was an unparalleled convulsion in the annals of North American history. The earthquake, like a raging beast from the underworld, viciously attacked the Prince William Sound region, unleashing an apocalyptic scene of destruction and claiming an agonizing toll of 137 souls. The cruel consequences were a sight of destroyed landscapes with whole towns erased from existence, reduced to desolate ruins. Communities were shattered, their world torn asunder, left to grapple with the fragments of their broken lives. The earthquake was a brutal testament to the raw, unforgiving power of nature and a somber admonition of the crucial need for readiness in the face of such calamitous and erratic events. This seismic beast was force of nature that unleashed one of the most devastating earthquakes that North America has ever been forced to endure. Fast forward to 2004, an earthquake off the coast of Sumatra leaves a lasting mark. The day after Christmas, December 26th, the tectonic plates off the coast of Sumatra, Indonesia, violently shifted, triggering an earthquake with a staggering magnitude of 9.1 to 9.3. This colossal seismic activity didn't just shake the earth, it stirred the ocean, setting off a series of deadly waves known as a tsunami. These monstrous walls of water reaching as high as a 30-story building raced across the Indian Ocean, engulfing coastal communities without warning. The impact was catastrophic, with entire towns wiped off the map in mere moments. The death toll was unimaginable, with an estimated 228,000 lives lost. A staggering 227,000 of those lives were claimed by the tsunami waves. The aftermath was truly devastating. 228,000 people lost their lives. Now let's travel to Japan in the year 2011. On March 11th, a catastrophic earthquake with a magnitude of 9.0 sent shockwaves through the country. The earthquake was so powerful that it moved the main island of Japan eight feet to the east. It was the most powerful earthquake ever recorded in Japan, and the fourth most powerful earthquake in the world since modern record-keeping began in 1900. But the earthquake was just the beginning. The seismic event generated a massive tsunami that crashed into Japan's east coast. The tsunami waves reached heights of up to 40 meters and traveled up to six miles inland in some areas. The impact was particularly devastating at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. The tsunami disabled the power supply and cooling of three Fukushima reactors, leading to a nuclear accident. In total, the earthquake and tsunami resulted in 18,150 deaths and caused widespread destruction. The impact was devastating, particularly at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. But how can we protect ourselves from such natural disasters and respond appropriately? Here are five crucial tips that can make a significant difference. Firstly, it's essential to ensure your home is earthquake resistant. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean you need to rebuild your entire house, but it does mean taking certain precautions. Secure heavy furniture to the walls to prevent them from toppling over. Attach locks to cabinets to prevent the contents from spilling out. Regularly check the structural integrity of your building and, if possible, seek professional advice to make sure your home can withstand the shakes. Secondly, 
always keep an emergency supply of water, food, and other essential provisions. Remember, earthquakes can lead to power outages and supply interruptions. Having a stockpile of necessities can be a lifesaver. This includes items like medication, first aid kits, and batteries. Thirdly, develop a family emergency plan. This should outline safe locations in your home and codify how to behave during an earthquake. Practice this plan with your family members so everyone knows exactly what to do when an earthquake strikes. Fourthly, stay informed about earthquake early warning systems. These systems can provide valuable seconds to minutes of lead time before the shaking starts. This might not seem like a lot, but even a few seconds can make a huge difference when it comes to seeking shelter. And finally, knowing the proper behavior during an earthquake is crucial. The moment the shaking starts, immediately duck under a sturdy table or desk and cover your head and neck to protect yourself from falling objects. If you're outdoors, move to a clear area away from buildings, trees, streetlights, and utility wires. Remember, preparation is key to survival during such natural disasters. It's not just about surviving the earthquake itself, but also the aftermath. By being prepared, you can significantly increase your chances of staying safe and healthy in the wake of one of these powerful natural events.